fire everywhere. Israel has been facing weeks of ongoing fires. 50 families have remained homeless, countless animals have died, and thousands of dunams have been destroyed. But nobody dared mention that maybe some of those fires were deliberately perpetrated by Arabs. This is the live evidence of an arson that took place two days ago. The media framed it as the result of the high temperatures until the investigations began. Hundreds of the fires in the last week in Jerusalem and Beit Shemesh area were a result of arson. After over a year of incendiary terror balloons from Gaza, arsons on a weekly basis in Judea and Samaria, are we supposed to be surprised? Here are more facts from the wave of fires that began in Israel on November 2016. Firefighters fought 1,773 fires. In Haifa, for example, 75,000 residents were evacuated, 1,600 people left homeless, and more than 20,000 dunams of a forest burnt. After a thorough investigation, it was determined that out of 80 fires that were checked, 71 were the result of arson. Fireman officer Ron Schluff, considered the premier authority in fire investigations in the country, said, Yes, we faced arson terror. There is no dilemma or doubt about it. All the villages that were burned were Jewish, and all those arrested or prosecuted were Arabs. And from a thorough investigations we conducted, no one else in the Middle East, including the Palestinians, experienced such an extreme wave of fires like we experienced. Conclusion. Most of the fires in Israel are arson perpetrated by Arabs against Jews as a method of terror. Ignoring the facts won't make them go away. Thank you for watching. If you want to help us fight these lies, please join us.